So Easter is this up and coming Sunday. Uh, first of all, I can't believe Easter's already here. Uh, I don't know about you, but for me, this year is going completely super fast. Anyways, this week, we're going to focus on making traditional Spanish recipes that are typically served during this beautiful time of the year. So to kick it all off, we're making a Spanish lentil stew with eggs. This is known in Spain as un guiso de lentejas con huevos. And let me tell you, it's a dish that's enjoyed all year round, but it's extra special during the Easter season as it doesn't contain any red meat, making it the perfect dish for any day throughout Lent. Folks, this recipe is super easy to make. This stew's got a ton of great flavors to it, and it's all done in just 45 minutes. All right, let's just dive right into this recipe. I'm gonna heat a stock pot with a medium heat and add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 30 milliliters. After a couple minutes, I'm gonna add in one small onion and one green bell pepper that I finely chopped, and one carrot that's been peeled, and four cloves of garlic that have been roughly chopped. And we'll mix the vegetables around, that way they're all coated in that olive oil, and we're gonna lightly saute them just for a few minutes. After about three to four minutes, and the vegetables are lightly sauteed, and the onions are nice and translucent, I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is about two and a half grams, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, which is one gram, and one tablespoon of sherry vinegar, which is 15 milliliters. And let me tell you, when that vinegar hits that pan, you're gonna get an incredible aroma coming out. And we'll give it a quick mix, that way everything's well mixed together. As always, the Spanish paprika I'm using is from Kiva. You'll find a link where you can get some in the description box below. And if you buy it from that link, you'll also get 25% off your order. Then we'll add in half a cup of tomato sauce, which is about 115 grams. And we'll give it a mix until everything's well mixed together and then simmer it for a couple minutes without mixing the mixture. The tomato sauce that I'm using, I made by finely grating fresh tomatoes, but as always, you can use canned tomato sauce here, pasata, or even Spanish tomate frito. After about three minutes, and the grated tomato has slightly thickened up, I'm gonna add in one large potato that's been peeled and cut into large bite-sized pieces. For this recipe, make sure to use a potato that's a bit more waxy than starchy as they hold their shape better when they're cooked. We'll also add in one cup of dried brown lentils, which is about 200 grams, and I did rinse them under some cold running water beforehand. And let me tell you, when you're working with dried lentils, you don't have to soak them overnight, just give them a quick rinse beforehand. And five cups of vegetable broth, which is 1200 milliliters. Of course, you can also use water here, like many people do. I just prefer to use the broth as it adds more flavors to the stew. And we'll also add in one bay leaf. Then we'll turn it up to a high heat, give it a mix, and bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we'll place the lid on the stock pot and lower the fire to a low heat and we're gonna simmer this between 20 to 25 minutes until those lentils are fully cooked through. Important to check the package instructions in the lentils that you're using, but typically with brown lentils, it takes about 20 to 25 minutes. In the meantime, let's start getting our eggs ready. I'm gonna grab four large eggs and crack each one into individual bowls. As you know, I always like to do this before adding the eggs into the pan, as it ensures that no eggshells go in there and that the egg yolks are not broken. After simmering the stew for about 25 minutes, those lentils should be perfectly cooked through. You know, you can always give one of them a taste test to ensure that they're right on the money. And also, if you see that your stew needs a bit more liquid, just add it in at this point. For the next step, I'm gonna season the stew with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a gentle mix, that way that salt and pepper are evenly mixed into the stew. And like I've told you in the past, when you're working with dry beans, you want to season them once they're fully cooked through, otherwise they're going to end up with a tough texture. Then we'll start adding the eggs into the stew, making sure they're all evenly spread out. Then we'll place the lid back on the stock pot and continue to simmer this for another three to four minutes or until those egg whites are fully cooked through. 
Once the egg whites are fully cooked through, we'll remove the stock pot from the heat, transfer some of the stew into a shallow bowl, and we'll sprinkle it with some finely chopped fresh parsley. Check it out, our Spanish lentil stew with eggs is done. Once again, this is known in Spain as un guiso de lentejas con huevos. Super easy to make, made with simple and humble ingredients and all done in about 45 minutes. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. So today is one of those days where it's chilly outside, so you know this stew is going to really hit the spot. Here we go. Look at that. It is absolutely delicious. So many great flavors in there, but more importantly, the lentils kept their shape. They're not much here split open. So important to simmer them on a low heat and then season them at the very end. As for the flavors, that sherry vinegar with the sweet smoked Spanish paprika pimenton and the cumin explosion of so much goodness in the egg takes this stew to the next level. Folks, give this a try at home, either right now during Easter or any time of the year, and always next to a crunchy baguette and a bottle of Spanish wine for the ultimate Spanish experience. Real quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Dr. Michael Barvitz, Terry K. Clean, Jesper Haloum, Jim Owens, and Tommy Williams. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. Leave me a comment below. And as always, don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. That way our Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego.